In this lesson, I will show you how to trim sketch entities. To activate this trim entities, I have to go to inside this sketch tab. From here, I can get this tool or I will press S key in my keyboard and also I can activate it from here. I will activate it. There are total five different type of trim you can do, but 90% time you have to work with this power trim. But before I apply this trim, I will show you why do you need this trim. Let's say I created this circle. I want to keep this half circle, not full circle. In that case, I can use this trim, but there is another way to accomplish this. I will select it, make it construction geometry, then make three point arc and make relation between these two co-radial. And now you can see you can accomplish by this way. But there are lots of extra step involved. So in that case, I can use stream. I will go back by using Ctrl Z. Now I will activate these stream entities. From here, I will select power trim. For this power trim, you do not need to just only select entity. You can just press and hold your left mouse button somewhere in the blank area. Then when you will move to anywhere, anything will fall under this line will be deleted. If I do it here, I can also select it. You can see this will also trim, but power trim is better for dragging. Even though this is saying trim, sometimes it can work as a extend. If I select this line, nothing to trim with this. But if I move more up to this line, you can see this is actually extended up to this line. The next type is corner type. To make the corner, let's say this two line is short. If I select this line and this line, it will create the corner between these two lines. If two line is overlapping with each other, I can also the same option corner. I have to select this two line and it will create the corner. The next type is trim away inside. This will work sometime where you have to define your boundary. I will select it. So I have to first define two boundary. I will select these two boundary and inside this boundary, I want to trim everything. I will right click and select lasso selection. Now I will select all entity from here and everything is gone, which is inside this boundary. The same thing I can do for trim away outside. I will select this option, control Z to go back. I will do same thing again. So I will select these two as a boundary. Then I will select all of this entity. But this time you can see everything outside this boundary is gone. There is another type is available trim to closest. Let's say if I select it, this is gone because this will catch the closest point where it can trim. If I select this line, it will trim between these two points. But there are some place where you do not need to trim. I will show you one example. I will press Ctrl Z to go back. I will delete this case. I don't need this. Here, let's say I want to trim these three extra line from inside. So I will select trim, then power trim, then I will delete this. And here you can see this is under defined now, but before it was fully defined it. For this kind of situation, you do not need to trim it. There is one better way to solve this problem. Control Z to go back. In this case, I will make this line as a construction geometry. Also these two line as a construction geometry. There are some extra step involved for sure, but at least you do not need to apply geometric constraints or dimension again. So here now I will add few more geometry here. I have to make a relation between this point and this circle coincident. 
and finally i have to create three point arc so this is how you can also make without trimming this method quite powerful when you will work with very busy and complex sketch but inside most of the simple sketch you can just trim it